We are on another lesson. We have been talking about sighting. We have been talking about beehives. Now, <clears throat> we want to demonstrate uh, sighting a local hive. And in this case, we have a log hive. The reason why I'm putting on a bee suit is because close to me, they are colonized bee hives. They are bee colonies. So I fear in any case, a bee can come and sting me. I am not protected. In case I'm not having a bee suit, then I will be stung. So I'm going to work while I'm dressed in a suit just to avoid bee stings. So we should avoid bee stings as much as possible. So when you get your site selected, <coughs> you have cleared the bush. Now you go into site, uh, sighting the hive. Now we are sighting a, a traditional hive, the log, using the Y. The Y stands. As you can see, uh, these poles, they are two, and they are in form of Y. I want them to hold my log. You can see I considered the height. I'm going to sight and uh, I'm able to view into the hive while standing. I will not be bending like this to view in the hive, neither on my toes. So I have to be on a workable height. So we have dug already our holes and we have sized our poles very well. So I want to fasten. I fasten my holes here by adding more soil. They have to be strong, standing enough. As the hive gets colonized, eh, it becomes heavy. You know, there is brood, there are combs, there is honey, and also the weight of bees. But also looking at the weather changes. When it rains, you know, so it becomes soft, so your hive might fall. You can apply a ring of grease here to stop the crawling insects. Also apply a ring of grease here to stop the crawling insects into your hive. But also, we consider the shade. You can see our hive, once sighted here, it is able to receive some shade to keep the bees active. Then you can see the forages around. So then also the gentleness, you can see, it is not steep, it is gentle. So it's a good site we have selected. Now, the hive is here. We have baited it. It is a log hive. These are the entrance holes. So we said when you're going to site your hive, you bait it. We have already baited it with beeswax rubbed inside there. So you make sure your holes are very clean and uh, the bees are able to enter. The scout bees will come and inspect the hive. If need, they can even clean more, then they can go and invite. So this is the entrance and this is the hind. So this is the hind, removable, but the, the front is a fixed permanent but with entrance holes. The reason is when we are working with a, a traditional hive, you know, you you don't open the front. The bees have an arrangement. They put pollen here, put brood in the middle, then the food stores, the honey, is behind. So when you're coming, you inspect, you smoke it. When it is colonized up there, you smoke it, call the guard bees off duty, then you smoke and also behind. You give it some time, two minutes, then you smoke again. You see my cool smoke? It is not blue, so it is cool. You smoke the hive entrance. The guard bees will go off. Then you smoke. And then you will come to open. So I was demonstrating just in simple how a, a log hive is. So I told you we have hive tool. Now you see I'm already using it. You make sure the hind cover is fixed well. So two people are better than one working in the apiary. But here I'm going to, to work alone because this hive is light. So I think I'm able to carry it 
But if it is heavy, make sure you carry when you are two people. So I want to sight it facing that direction. So that when I'm inspecting, I stand this side. So it is being sighted. I'm now correcting the entrances to make sure it is aligned very well. I have to remove all the foreign materials. Then I check whether the hind cover is fixed well. And wow, I think it is done. We have sighted a, 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 log, a log hive on Y stands. On the site we selected, it is in the shed, forages are around, and the slope is not much. So in future, we do apiary management. Like here, these grasses are supposed to be removed because they can, you know, cause the crawling insects to come around the hive. And then after removing at least two feet or three feet, you can bring a hole slowly, gently, don't knock on the hive stand, dig around to create like bare ground to stop the insect pests of bees from coming around. Remember, we said we are applying a ring of grease here. If you have time, you can also apply rat guards. Rat guards are simple materials. It's a metal. You have cut, you come and wind it around here like this so that the rats will not come and enter. It is like this so the rat cannot come like this and enter. So here grease, here rat guard, you have weeded so you have protected your hive.